The Inwin 103 is a mid-tower case that offers great build quality and useful features. The case has all the metal panels manufactured out of what is abbreviated as SECC or in the full name, steel that is electro-galvanized for commercial usage. All of these panels are 1.2mm thick, which is thicker than most commercial PC cases on the market, just to give you a bigger picture of why this is a big deal. The side panel of the 103 is made out of the usual tempered glass, which also has a tint and a pinstripe pattern on the lower corner which continues on the metal part of the case. And look, Inwin was able to create an actual good and simple solution to tempered glass panel mounting and removal without the usage of 3 million pieces of plastic. Color me impressed. It's funny how so many manufacturers still struggle with this simple task, but hey, RGB is RGB and it gives you more performance, so why not? The actual panel mounting mechanism is pretty simple. Two clips that slide into a slot and lock in place. To remove the panel, simply gently pull on these clips which are also the handles used to carry the panel around. The lower part of the panel will swivel towards the outside and rest on a metallic beam that is also part of the case frame. What keeps the panel in its position and prevents it from sliding out of its designed place are two plastic elements that insert into the before mentioned metallic beam. This type of mounting mechanism not only provides a quick and easy solution to remove the panel, but also prevents any sliding or heating of the glass, and thus breaking the glass in the process. The other side panel is made out of solid metal and has a single design element present, that is in fact the main access point for two exhaust fans that you can install inside the case. More on those fans later on. This panel is mounted to the case frame with the help of two classic thumb screws that will stay with the panel once unscrewed. It is a tried and tested solution that will work with a metal panel but not with a glass one. The lower side features the same swiveling mechanism as the tempered glass side panel. The front I.O. of the case is located on the top panel in close proximity of the RGB illuminated Inwin logo. The I.O. panel is composed out of the two USB 3.0, one power button, one headphone jack and one microphone jack and that's it. No 3.0 header or anything else for that matter. The only dust filter included with the 103 is located at the bottom of the case, below the floor panel and it is massive. In fact, it covers the entire surface of the case floor and can be easily removed from the side. This filter has a soft and small mesh to keep the dust particles outside the system and it also has quite beefy plastic support beams to keep it rigid and safe from breaking. The interior of the Inwin 103 is close in design and structure with the interior of most cases from the 100 and 300 series from Inwin and that is a good thing as this design has been refined over the years to provide a good chamber separation between the power supply and its cables and the rest of the system. The power supply as said before is mounted at the top of the case and the air intake is done at the bottom of the case through a massive dust filter as said previously. The side plastic bracket that is pre-installed on the motherboard tray and sits right next to the motherboard allows allows for the installation and usage of two 120mm fans or a single 240mm radiator. This by default is an exhaust mounting point only, as there is no dust filtration provided from the factory at all, and due to its close position to the motherboard and CPU socket, it is the ideal location to have a radiator installed here. The storage options are good for a case of this size and layout. You can install up to two 3.5 inch drives into these plastic cages that are removable and will slide forwards. These cages, while plastic, do have some rubber washers to dampen some of the vibrations created by the storage units. The rest of the storage mounting spots are located on the back of the motherboard tray in the shape of two SSD metal trays. These are held in place by a single thumb screw each. With a full system installed into the Inwin 103, you can see the chamber separation of the interior and how open the space is for the motherboard and graphics card. And there is no question about it, the interior space is utilized almost its maximum potential. I say almost because even though there are a lot of good things about this case, there are some problems. Starting with the rubber grommets, they are none to be found and that's not the worst thing. The spaces for routing the cables to the motherboard are too far for a good cable bench to be had. There is also no space for the CPU cable to be routed cleanly to the motherboard connector and you are forced to route this cable from the side of the power supply and this cable will sit right in front of the power supply fan, adding more noise into the system. At the bottom of the motherboard, there is enough space for small cutouts that would have allowed for the USB and audio cables to pass through. Unfortunately, they are none to be found again, so you are forced again to route these cables from the main cutout of the case, this making the fan installation on the floor of the case tricky to say the least. The Inwin 103 can be had for approximately 80 US dollars or euros, and at this price point, 
there are not a lot of options available with this level of build quality and features. I am talking about the build quality and features only. If we take into consideration the cable management options and the airflow, there are some cases that are in close range of the Inwin 103 that will come with rubber grommets, proper space for wires to pass to the motherboard and included fans, among other things. However, the Inwin 103 is not a bad case, it is quite good in fact. I am merely stating the purpose of this case and what things you need to consider before deciding to buy such a case. The build quality is great and there is plenty of space inside for any graphics card or motherboard, as well as going into a full water cooling custom loop if that is what you really want to do. If you liked this case and indeed this review then please leave some feedback in the comment section below and perhaps you can consider subscribing for more video reviews like this one.